All right. Ryan or Ken? Honestly, you can pick whoever you want. Ken is blue, Ryan's red. Go. Ken is blue, Ryan's red. Who would you pick? Y'all can be honest. I don't care. You can be honest. Seriously, you can pick Ken. That's fine. Gypsy did. <laughs> I said it before and I'll say it again, no one in the situation looks good, right? The stepmom doesn't look good, Gypsy doesn't look good, Ken doesn't look good, Ryan doesn't look good. The only one that looks somewhat sane in this whole situation is the dad, Rod. Is his name Rod? Okay, him, all right? He's the only person that has any common sense in this whole situation. Just hope from here, you know, have they got their closure? Let's close the book on Ken and... Uh... They don't talk to him. I'm not getting involved in. So I just I don't do know like I did. asked yeah. you and don't ever. You allow the door to open up. If Ken wants to reach out to Gypsy and they want to communicate, you should have told Ken, I can't help you. If something happens with Gypsy and Ken, it's going to be your fault. The latest episode of Gypsy's reality TV show has just come out and it's going into a little bit more detail as to how she feels about Ryan, the tipping point of their relationship, of their marriage, and how she is out here filming Ryan, filming him when he's upset, saying that he, what he's doing reminds her of her mum. He's out here acting all suspicious about who she's texting, what's the address, what's going on. I'm the older sister, but in many ways, she is the one with the most experience. And I go to her for advice. Just don't let her talk about me. I know she's going to. She's not gonna talk about you. Yeah. She's not. Like, I mean, she hasn't talked about you. All she said was that sometimes she likes you, sometimes she's iffy about you. We have Christy or Chrissy or whatever her name is, the stepmom, the stepmom of Gypsy, who is meddling. I said this in the last video, she is the biggest meddler known to mankind. And her husband, who's Gypsy's dad, is the only one that seems to have any sense whatsoever in the fact that he doesn't want to get involved. And he is a little bit annoyed at Chrissy, Christy, whoever, whatever, for getting as involved as she has been. Even she said, she says, well, I'm still friends with all my exes. I, this lady. So what are your thoughts after all that? I'm not gonna lie to Gypsy. That's the thing. My God, I think that it's not fully closed. I've heard bad things about her because she's apparently been out here in people's live streams causing chaos and just getting a bit too personal with people in their messages. That's, that's all I've heard. But I've heard no good things about her. And the more she appears on the screen, the more I'm just like, you're trying to control Gypsy. And I've, I said this in my last video. I feel like Gypsy has, she was controlled by her mum. She was then controlled by the prison system. And now she's being controlled by her stepmom, who is almost playing Cupid. I promised her that I would never keep anything from her because that's what Dee Dee did. And I'm not like that. If she needs to hear whatever he has to say for her to heal, let her freaking heal. Now, just for the record, I don't think Ryan and Gypsy were very well suited. I do think that he comes across as a little bit controlling. However, I wouldn't feel right and I probably wouldn't be acting right if I found out that my husband was in contact with an ex-lover or was acting a little bit suspicious because at the end of the day, even though he is acting a bit controlling and a bit like, get away from me, why are you so bothered about what I'm doing? He is acting strange, but it kind of was for a good reason because she was in fact trying to get back with Ken. Who are you texting? Um, uh, I'm texting Mia. I saw that address, what does she want? For what? There's no address. Scroll back down, that's... Oh, that's our, that's for the free stuff. So I saw that and was like, what the hell? Yeah, that's for the free stuff. That's why I was like, who are you texting?
And she's also out here telling her stepsister that, you know, he snores and that he's got this problem and this problem and this problem, which fair enough, like you're going to talk to your loved ones about things that are bugging you in your relationship. I think that's a perfectly natural thing to do, but they're not doing it on television. So I do understand why Ryan was annoyed. And instead of Ryan just being annoyed and being able to kind of calm down in his own way, Gypsy then just starts recording him and saying that he reminds her of her mum or something a bit like that, which is just like, oh, can we not? Can we not? And you know what? I understand if she feels like she can't live with someone who hoards things and she can't be with someone who's too controlling because that's what her mum was like. It's creating trauma. It's bringing back trauma. I fully understand that. But to say that to him, I just thought, I don't know. I'm not sure if that was the greatest thing to say. It's like there's certain things that need to stay between us, baby. Certain things I mean, that need to stay between us. I mean, I get that. I was just talking to her about the situation. Here you are freaking out I and know, then you're I'm switching okay up because I'm not just... right, switching up on, because I'm on camera. I'm mad at you. I'm also realizing that my wife is not that, it's not a deal breaker. It's not that big a deal. I'm just telling you, I'm mad. Like, I don't know why you gotta be on this. Because this is real life. And you're the one that just said I'm tired of the now you're filming an argument between us. I'm mad. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm frustrated. I'm mad because I don't want your sister to know these types of things. Like that stuff between us, stuff that we work out. What I'm feeling right now is the same way that my mom made me feel whenever no. I would talk to people. Because don't talk to your dad. Don't tell him this. If I told my dad too much, she would act like you're acting. Don't, don't do that. I'm saying you're pulling your love away. I'm just saying you're mad at me I'm, because I'm, I confided I'm, in someone. I'm you could have done that without on camera you could have called your sister later and talked to her about it i'd have been okay with that and since that aired there has been nothing but drama nothing good has come out of this whole situation okay we have had ryan come on and do you know are you team ken or are you team ryan thank you guys for the poll appreciate that five thousand 5,000 to 1,500. Yeah, means I'm the better one. He's also been talking about the previous episodes and talking about how he felt when he was being put on blast, when he was being filmed. Hey, Y'all see that during the fight where she pulled out her phone? Yeah, guys, we were having a discussion and she pulled out her phone and that threw me for a loop. I was in the middle of it like, why are you filming me? And the worst part is, is that Gypsy then comes on and says that apparently Ken and Ryan got into a massive argument because Ryan was texting her, um, which by the way, I thought that she'd blocked his number, but apparently he's creating other numbers to get hold of her, which, which, okay, I, that's not a move. That's not a good move. I mean, is she telling the truth? Is she not? If she's telling the truth and he is creating numbers or calling on other phones to get hold of her, that is a giant red flag and you need to get away from that because if you've already said you do not want to be contacted and they're still trying to find ways to not listen to you and to disrespect you like that, that is really not the one and I think that just goes without saying. He calmed down. He was chill. And then he's like, well, okay, well, how are you doing? And I'm like... I have got to go. I'm eating dinner. I gotta go. And he's like, well, don't hang up on me. So I hung up. Ken was sitting across from me. And Ken had overheard Ryan yelling at me through the phone. Then Ryan started texting me. I looked at my phone. And Ken is like, what, do you say? what is he saying? I handed Ken my phone. He read the text. And... Ken got a little upset because Ryan was out of pocket. He was being aggressive. So emotions got the better of Ken and he started texting Ryan. It got aggressive back and forth in an argument. Once Ken cooled down, he's like, I shouldn't have said all that stuff. And I was like, it's okay. You were upset. You were being protective over me. I get it. And I blocked Ryan's number. 
So at least it was another fake number that he creates to call me or text me. So that's what really went down last night. Ryan then comes on and says all sorts of stuff and kind of declares his love for Gypsy and Gypsy is saying that her divorce is not finalized until October and it's all just looking so unbelievably messy. It made me very angry. It made me very angry. So angry that I decided to use my friend's phone to call Gypsy. It's a bad idea. Shouldn't have done it. Even got a little snippet of Ken at the very end of the latest episode where he's saying, I didn't think I was ever going to show my face, but now's the time with all the dramatics. No one in this situation looks good. All right, I'm just going to put this out here right now. No one looks good in the situation. I've never done an interview before because in the past, I didn't want to play a part in the media circus. It's a super circus now. <laughs> it is. It's crazy. Yeah. She's blown up more than I ever thought she could, you know, or wanted her to. I do think, though, that the time is now for Ryan to stop making content about Gypsy because at the end of the day, they are going to be getting a divorce and maybe he should just stop and that doesn't even mean to say that i'm like team gypsy team ryan team ken i'm literally team rod is that his name i'm team rod right the dad i'm, I'm team the dad all right the dad seems sensible the dad understands what's going on but as far as this whole to and fro thing on tiktok lives where they're all like calling each other behind the scenes and they're all having arguments and they're airing everything out. I do think Ryan just needs to stop because he's already said that he's really tempted to write a tell-all book on this situation. At the end of the day, you're monetizing off of the situation. Yes, you were hurt. Yes, you did technically get emotionally cheated on. The whole thing is horrible. No one would wish that on their worst enemy. However, however, I think the time is now for people just to be able to take a step back and go, is this productive? Is this big? Is this productive to the cause? Is this doing anything to better help our situation? Because at this point, I feel like they're all just talking about this for the money rather than for anything else and out of bitterness as well. It's about bitterness and money. I didn't post this picture, but it was a picture of me and him side like together and then a picture of me and Ken. And it said something to the fact that I had to kiss a frog to get to the prince or something. I did not write that. I may have not been respectful in certain areas I may have not always been that thoughtful of how things would appear to him when posting pictures of me and Ken. But the last thing I'm gonna do is be cruel. But that's pretty much all I wanted to say on the situation. The next video that you're gonna be seeing is gonna be a face-to-face -face one. I've just been away from my computer for a few days, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and I will catch up with you guys in the next video.